what is the Alter Rebbe saying that we in 2024 need to hear? That when you get a thought that's disturbing, at a time and place where based on your own honest sense of self you shouldn't have it, the number one thing to do is don't get fancy. Kill it. And after that you'll deal with the fence. And this is very critical. Very critical. But it's not popular. <laughs> it's not, it's critical. Don't analyze it. Don't sit and study it. We live in an age where everything is aside, everything you have to think about and everything you have to talk about. And our thinking and our talking is wallowing in, a, in, in, in squalor. Al-Tarebbe says, do not try to solve this problem. Push it away. Don't get smart. Don't get fancy. Don't do choreography. It's your enemy. Push it out. Period. End of story. Now, you see, we live in an age where people are very, very busy with themselves. We live in an age where people are very, very busy with their feelings. And they don't want to push it out because it hurts. It hurts to push it out. It hurts not to think about it. And it's hurt to think that there's something in me which isn't good that the only way to deal with is cut it off. But that's what you got to do. Why? Because al Treb is a smart man. And amongst other things, <laughs> he doesn't have our problems. So he sees us objectively and says, do not study this. Don't get fancy. Because that's exactly what the Yetzirah wants. He wants you to sit and think about it, analyze it, and study it, and try to correct it, and try to explain it to yourself. Because in the meantime, you're in squalor, which is exactly his intent. So the, the most important thing that al Rebbe says in this Paytik is, and I mean, this is so simple and yet so complicated. In life, we fight with ourselves, period. That's just life. And to say, I don't want to fight, I want to be at peace with myself, I also want to be at peace with myself. But it's not realistic. And a person who chooses to live a life where they don't want to fight with themselves is a prisoner, is in a golos. I don't know exactly what label to put on that golos, but part of that golos is you've incarcerated yourself in your own emotions. You're not allowing yourself to live your life. You're not allowing yourself, forgive me for saying it straight, to grow up. And you're not allowing yourself to serve the Eibishter. When you have a challenge, you don't necessarily analyze it. You cut it off. And that's what he's saying. And throughout this Patek, this idea is going to repeat itself several times. Don't get, don't get fancy. Don't get fancy. You have a question, a good one, a legitimate one. I feel, honestly, based on how I know myself, and again, I'm not talking about me. We're talking about Chosr the Alter Rebbe. That I'm in the middle of davening. And as far as I know, I'm in Madrigas Bainani. And I'm davening with Al Trebbe says Bekavona. I feel like my Madrega should be or is that Bishas Hatfila, my Nefesh of Bahamas, is my partner. How did this happen? Al Trebbe says, I'll tell you how it happened soon. But before I tell you how it happened, I want to tell you what to do. Don't get fancy. Don't get fancy. Because if you get fancy, the Eitan is going to eat you up alive, which is exactly what his intent is. So this line, Al Yoshes Leib Elehen El Yisiach Daita Mehen Kerega, is the most important thing that Al Rebbe can say in this entire Vedic, and it repeats itself several times in the Vedic. Don't analyze it. It's not good, and the way you address it is by cutting it out. This is numero uno. He tells you what to do, but he's not explaining to you why what is happening is happening. Your complaint is that in your own assessment of yourself, this should not be. So the Alter Rebbe says, okay, let's talk about it. After we dealt with the first issue, and the first issue is, the most important thing a person has to need when he meets his Yetzirah is don't have a discussion. All he wants is a conversation. You know the old story about the salesman? <laughs> a salesman knocks on the door and he wants to sell a vacuum cleaner and the person opens the door and kicks him down the steps and he goes tumbling down the steps and he lands on the sidewalk and someone sees the poor guy rolling and says, there was a, that sale didn't work. He says, no, 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 that sale just started. <laughs> but he kicked you down the steps. But he opened the door. 
he wasted his time putting his hand and rubbing up the bottom of his shoe against my waist. I'm in. Climbs back up the steps. <laughs> Real salespeople do it and succeed. The Yetahare is a good salesman. Some people have very issues with Vesach. People, they don't deal well with, what's the word they use, with rejection. Yeah, this guy, a salesman, it, it, rejection is the beginning of every sale. The beginning of every sale is being told, you're wasting your time. Okay, thank you very much. You want to buy a bit? want to buy that? You clean it. The Yetzirah is a woman b'mlachte. So don't open the door. Don't even kick him down the steps. Don't open the door. This is bad. 